We upgraded our refrigerator. New Air sent us this sweet 126 can capacity refrigerator. It has a ton of features. It has an LED light you can turn on and off. It has adjustable temperature. It has racks that are movable and it even has a lock so you can keep your drink safe. My favorite thing about it is probably the LED on the inside so you can keep an eye on your beverages. Also, don't judge me for the uh, sparkling water. These refrigerators are usually $289, but using our code CARS and link in the description of this video, you can get 20% off. So check it out if you're looking to make a serious upgrade to your garage or office refrigerator. Today, we finally get our CT70s road legal. I get my motorcycle permit, I get tags, Ike gets tags, uh, we get insurance, and we take our CT70s on their maiden voyage. But first, we have to fix Ike's forks because at some point, someone turned them into bananas. So we have to straighten them. Speedo cable? That's the speedo cable. Oh, you'll be able to see what's up with it. Well, no. No. It's moving there. Yeah, so some with your gear. It's supposed to fit in that slot, and it's it's not. These are, these are bent out. Can you bend back? Yeah. Sweet. So I decided to pull the fork off and spin this to see if it's bent. And as you can see, should I put it on the table and spin it or is this good? That's good enough, man. It's really freaking bent. Yeah. I'm going to take this apart and if this fork looks this good the whole way down, I might just put it in the press and straighten it myself. I came over to these to just kind of look at them and man, it's got a horrible rust spot right there. Whenever I compress it, it's it's right there at the seal. Man, I'm just gonna take that other fork off and I'm gonna take it to work and I'm gonna put it in the uh, press and I'm gonna try to straighten them. What you got there? A banana. It's pretty bad, dude. That is real bad. Yeah, it starts somewhere around here. Alright. Y'all, uh, watch yourselves. Oh, yeah. It's getting better. Not bad. Gonna Still. find the next tight spot? Yeah. What's going on guys? I am solo right now because John is trying to get his motorcycle permit. Good luck, buddy. I got a little surprise. I didn't tell him, but I got something. And I'm gonna, it's, it's my tag. And I'm gonna mount it to my bike and not say anything to John. And uh, see if he, see how long it takes him to uh, notice. I did straighten them out pretty good compared to what they were. I'm gonna drain the fluid out of them the rest of the way and I'm gonna put some new fluid in them and install them on the bike. And I'm gonna try to do all this before John gets back and we'll see how long it takes for him to realize that I put a tag on my bike. It's pretty gross. She just clicked into place. That ought to do me. I hope these will go right into place better than John's. John's was a little bit of a pain. So apparently John passed his test. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, I'm now gonna go meet him at a uh, eating establishment and we're gonna have some lunch and we're gonna come back here and work on the CT-70s. I'm hoping that uh, he won't notice my tag right away. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh, uh, well, I turned down the heat, I think. Turn back up. Bam! Got a learner's permit for the motorcycle. That's nice. And then yeah. I also brought this back for you guys. Oh, yeah. So you can Just study. You so you can study your signs. Uh, it turns out there's a problem with my bond because like i made a copy of it 
and I submitted that and I didn't like the copy of the seal or whatever. So I need to go back to the tag office and I need to get tags anyway. I need to call and get insurance on my bike because the insurance guy is out of the office for lunch. But I mean, we got some things to do before then. Your forks need to get back together. Yep. I need my new brake handles and yep. uh, cables. So we got stuff to do. And I need to change my bulbs in my bike, go with LEDs. That's right. So as y'all saw, I was having trouble with the forks, but luckily, Ghost Power Sports sells these tie rods assemblies. The ends go on the ends of this. It threads right into the end of the uh, fork and I'm able to pull up. So you can thread the bolt in. So I can thread the bolt in. That's what took us like an hour with oh, mine. Gosh. That it was, was horrible, miserable. dude. Yep. Call <laughs> Go Power Sports for all your CT70 fork specialty tool needs. Are you ready to go, dude? You know it. We need to run by the warehouse. Yes. Because my filter. He doesn't have an air filter. We can rob it off the ATV. Well, I wanted to get uh, the uh, LED brake light. Oh yeah. So we need to stop the parts store. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this ride. I say parts store first because it's on the way. Yep. To the warehouse. Yep. And then the warehouse. We ran around here, dude. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, I jumped. I jumped like a darn chicken, man. <laughs> dude, are you ready? Yeah. It's the it's time, dude. One kick. Tail light install in the O'Reilly's parking lot, man. <laughs> I, I, should you see my tail light at all when you were behind? Yeah, I could. You could? Yeah, yeah. Today's a great day, man. Yeah. Beautiful weather. I'm so happy. Oh, I smell just that had food. a food. Yeah. I just had a stupid smile on my face the whole time. Oh, man. I, my buddy Matthew, first time he ever started riding, first like real trip was. We went to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. And I forgot to tell him, don't smile while riding in the, the bike. Bugs. Dude, we got to Myrtle Beach and he had the biggest grin on his face with black oh, bugs all in his teeth because he smiled the whole way there. It's disgusting. Yeah. So nice ground, man. Oh, thank you. I, I did what I had to do. Yeah. All right, so you're going to install that and we're going to head to the warehouse, right? Yes. Let's do it.
Mark stick out. Hey, I got uh, to see uh, like 39. Really? 38, 39. Nice. There was still a little bit more in mine too. Whew. I saw like 42, 43, I think. Dude, I've got to get An more horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, this it, thing is just pitiful. Yeah, it's it's a little dangerous. Let's get a filter and uh, keep moving. Yep. This is fun. Good. Sorry, ATV. Sorry, buddy. We made a pit stop at Ike's work to visit his boss. Hi, boss. Hi. Uh, yeah, now what are we headed? Just cruising downtown, get some get an early dinner maybe? Yeah. See if you get some chips. Nah, I don't think they'd fit on here, dude. Good for me. I guess there's no need for us to take up a regular parking spot. Nope. Cool, man. You were like so paranoid over the police officer. I mean, I was, dude. That's hilarious. Your bike's too loud, sir. All right, dinner it. time? I'm dinner hungry. time. Let's do it. Had a good dinner. We are headed back downtown because there's actually like a every week the local uh, theater does like a jam session. So that's where we're headed. We're just going to kind of scope it out because I play the guitar. Ike doesn't. Ike plays the uh, the triangle or the cowbell. Yeah. Either cowbell. one. So that's where we're headed. Cowbell. Oh, yeah. Front parking for you, man. parking. Sweet. Uh, over revved it again. You over revved it? Yeah, I kept I downshifted rather than upshifting again. You trying to blow it up, man? I'm trying to blow it up. You know, I know if you uh, over rev it, you can bend the valves and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if I have that issue. We rode home in the dark last night, and the video makes it look absolutely terrifying, but it wasn't awful. These bikes are dangerously slow. I'm not afraid to say that, that these bikes are more dangerous because they are so slow. So we seriously need to make some upgrades. Ike's is worse than mine. So next week, we are uh, doing some head work and trying to match the performance of mine or beat it with his uh, 1972-72cc engine. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameron's Reviews. And if you want 20% off a sweet refrigerator, use our code CARS and link in the description. We also have to thank our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com. Check Ike out at Isaac. It'll be fine. This Friday, so like the day after tomorrow, we are having a special viewing party in Greenville, North Carolina. Everybody's invited. That means you, you're invited, even though you're probably in Australia or California or something. Anyway, check out our Facebook page if you, uh, if you wanna join us. It's gonna be a ton of fun. They're gonna have a lot of people. We're gonna have a viewing party for our Velocity episode. Support the channel by buying some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We will see you Monday.